Hello everybody, my name is Beth and I am the Steadfast Stitcher, formerly the Desert Stitcher. Why did I change my name? Because I'm no longer living in the desert. <laughs> I have moved from Arizona to North Carolina, uh, did that last month, and I am extremely happy about it. Um, I've already visited my local LNS, which is Stitch Point on Friendly, and excited about possibly taking classes there, um, maybe with Jim, uh, so Jean, maybe with Jean Farish, that would be awesome. Um, so <laughs> I haven't done a lot of exploring yet. I've been to North Carolina many, many times um, before I moved out to Arizona. And yeah, I'm getting some flashes of light in here. I'm sorry about that. Um, it is an extremely quiet street that I live on, but once in a while we get a little traffic and I have my blinds mostly closed, but just enough so my cats can sit in the window because they do love to do that. Today is going to be my whip parade and this is a very off the cuff, what's in my bins whip parade. <laughs> and it's gonna be fun to show you everything that I've got and that I carried into No New Starts uh, for 2022. No New Starts this year has a couple different versions, and I chose the Work Your Whips, which is one where you can earn new starts from either finishes or completing a challenge. So I'm really looking forward to the group, and I'm already off to a pretty good start, I think. And one of the reasons I called myself the Steadfast Stitcher, uh, with help from my friend Emily, <laughs> Oh, it's because I am a pretty regular stitcher. I may not be the fastest stitcher on the planet, but I'm pretty much steadfast, consistent, steady, steady as she goes. <laughs> so steadfast stitcher seem to fit quite well, and it's not a regional uh, floss tube name. Now, normally um, in my videos, I give a shout out to someone who has under a thousand subscribers. It's been three months since I've done a YouTube video. Oh my goodness. No wonder I was so nervous getting on here this morning. So today I'm going to recommend Nitty Nat Stitches. Her name is Natalie. She's from Australia. She's got some beautiful projects and she's just a sweetheart of a person. So nice. I know her through Fun Day Stitchers on Facebook and also through the No New Starts group, and she's just lovely. I will post a link to her channel below, so please do go check her out. Whip Parade. 2021 was the year of starting everything. It was my stress relief was to start everything. <laughs> It would, 2021 was a very rough year with the loss of my mom and what worked for me, what was therapy for, therapeutic for me was starting a bunch of projects. Well, now I have more whips than I've ever had in my life and extremely few that are anywhere near a finish. So that's why I'm focusing on no new starts, work your whips for 2022. These are in no particular order. I just got my bins together and brought them downstairs. And let's go. <laughs> so first, I got to show off. This is a beautiful project bag. And it's from Patchwork Crossing on Etsy. She is currently taking a break um, due to a death in the family. Um, but I'm looking forward to when she's able to be back. And she just has the most beautiful bags and extremely well made and reasonably priced. And I will link her shop below so that when she does come back, you can go check her out. Okay, and my first one, boy, is this wrinkly. <laughs> my first one is from Long Dog. And this seemed extremely appropriate to get started on but it is uh, spangled by Long Dog. So it's not a monochromatic, it's all different colors. I'm gonna put a picture here 
of what it looks like finished. And this is where I'm at. And I think it's the home is where your story begins is what really got me on this one. And I started it, oh, I want to say just before I came out here, moved out here to North Carolina last month. So I made sure I got the 200 stitches necessary um, to bring it in as a whip for no new starts. When you're in no new starts, your whips have to have a minimum of 200 stitches on it in order to consider it a whip and bring it into the year's challenges. So I am excited about this one. Um, and I'm kind of a long dog addict, as you will see. I have, have several long dog whips. And it is a lot of fun to work on these projects. Next one is one um, has been getting some attention this brand new year so far. And it's going to be getting more. But this is Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. And this is what it'll look like finished. That's the model. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And this is what I have so far. I just love this. I am using the called for colors, um, which is a mix of um, Weeks Dye Works and DMC. And I just think this is beautiful and it's so fun to stitch on. There are a few other members of Fun Day Stitchers that are also working on this. And it is really fun to see their progress on it. Of course, they're probably all a lot further than I am. But it is beautiful. And I am doing this on 18-count um, Sprite. Which, I don't know if it's picking up the colors, but kind of light lavender, lilac. It goes beautifully with the huckleberries in this. So that's that one. Oh, I hope you're ready for a long video because it's definitely going to be a long video. <laughs> this next one has a very tiny start and it got just enough in to qualify it for no new starts. It's a pattern I've had for a while um, and I've been wanting to start. Um, so I finally got the 200 stitches in necessary to qualify it for the group for this coming year. It is the Village Sampler by the Prairie Schooler. Houses! <laughs> yeah, I'm still a house addict. In fact, I have been doing some driving around and just looking at all, all the brick homes, the beautiful old churches. It's just, it's been a lot of fun driving around the area here. I am north of Greensboro, and I just love it. <laughs> You might hear me say love North Carolina quite a few times, so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just got a tiny start on the border, just enough to get it in for no new starts. Um, but this is really pretty. I am using um, 18 count putty khaki as my fabric and using all the called for colors. Next one. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> Try again. What's in my bins? That is actually one that didn't get brought forward <laughs> for my whips because I didn't get quite 200 stitches in it to qualify it. This one is from Tilton Crafts, and it is called Dreamscape. Not much to see yet, um, but I did do well over the two, uh, 100, 200 stitches required. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, probably about a thousand stitches, a little over a thousand stitches in here so far. It is a full coverage piece. 
and it is going to be gorgeous um it is quite dark um but it has a lot of the greens and the deep forest i'm going to put a picture right here um i just love this one in fact i was inspired by my friend emily because she fell in love with um another pattern by the same designer on tilton crafts called fable and um i happened to see this one on there dreamscape and decided i had to have it <laughs> This is also another bag from Patchwork Crossing. Really nice size. I love all the little black cats. And you can see the little fob on here has a black cat on it as well. It's just adorable. Next up is one that I am working on that is a very old whip. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, this is one that my mother had started, and I we found it in uh, amongst her things, and it's one I'm going to be finishing for her. But it's called the Santa Collector, and it's from Jan Lynn, and it is ni 1995. And so that's what it looks like. Really cute, and see that's got little braids on the San <laughs> the Santa very cute um this is also going to need some repair work so i expect this will take me a little while to do um i think my mom was doing this on 14 count um it's got quite a bit done but like i said it needs some repair work and uh, most of the faces need to be finished in here so this is what it looks like Yeah, there's some stitches that have kind of fallen apart over the years. I think my mom started this and then um, ended up stopping cross-stitching because she was having problems with her eyes. But she kept on with knitting for years and years and years. And if you watch my previous videos, you've also seen some of her needlepoint. It's just incredible. So yeah, this is a project I plan to finish for my mom that was my mom started so and it's kind of a in memory of peace she was so incredibly talented <laughs> all right next one i love all the hawk run hollow pieces um i happened to pick this one up when it was on sale so this is my first hawk run hollow but not my last <laughs> So it's the Houses of Hawk Run Hollow. Love this by Karen's House Samplings, Kathy Barrett. And this one just has a small start on it, but enough that I could bring it into no new starts. So this is very cute. I love all the colors on this. I love all the different houses. I um, especially love the blue one on here, so I'm looking forward to getting down to that one, but I am going in order. Oops. <laughs> okay, next one. I bought this pattern when I was in Rochester, New York. Um, it was actually, uh, I was there for um, my mom's burial. And um, my sister-in-law took a, and I took a little break and went to a cross-stitch store in Pittsburgh. And lo and behold, it was Marilyn Levitt Emblem's own store. This is where she brought her models to, from Lavender and Lace, Butternut Road, Told in a Garden. And the walls were just cram-packed with her stitching. And it was just wonderful. It was, uh, the shop was in an old piano factory. Oh, it's so cool. But so I picked out this one. And it is a Provence sampler. It was stitched in red on the model. Whoopsie. There we go. So it was stitched all in red, um, like a red variegated on the model. I am doing this all in 4515 which 
I'll double check, but I believe the name is Paris. And I'm going to be doing a lot of editing at the end, so I will put in the correct name below if I messed it up. <laughs> but yeah, so it's got like blues and browns and just very, very pretty. I am doing this um, over one on 25 count potato Lugana. And like I said, this is kind of all on the fly. Um, something I'm still unpacking a lot of stuff, but <laughs> my cross stitch stuff was one of the first things I unpacked. <laughs> I just you can see it here. There we go. Yeah. I love the colors. And this is just such a fun stitch. And I was kind of lazy with this one. I rushed it. So I didn't cut the fabric first. So this is a giant piece of potato Lugana. Um, and this is only going to take up a little tiny bit of the fabric. So I will definitely have leftovers to do other projects on here. And sorry for all the zippers and crinklies. I don't want things to get misplaced and wind up in the wrong pouches. So I am trying to keep them all together. Now this next one, this is also um, from Patchwork Crossing. Can you sense a theme with autumn? <laughs> very pretty i love this one the other one was autumn flowers this one is the autumn leaves and again with the cute little scissor fob and this one i am doing ink circles um forests of sumatra and i love this design I am using, um, dude, I just want to double check, 18 count grog from Be Stitch Me. Just, yeah, I really like this fabric. So there's a little bit of modeling, but not a lot. And then my thread, I love this color, is Gentle Arts Blue Spruce. So if you can see, it's a really, it's a dark blue green just it's so pretty to work with so yeah here we go i want to get back to stitching on this this one's on pattern keeper so here we go with this is what it'll look like completed And if you don't use Pattern Keeper, definitely check it out because I'm seeing more and more designers are making patterns Pattern Keeper accessible and there's more and more things that I'm able to load on it and I just love Pattern Keeper. Let's see what this is. This one's, this one's probably one of the closest ones to a finish. Not quite there yet, but it's getting there. <laughs> this is Dracula's Confession by Lindy Stitches. I love this one. Um, I am still planning on having a literary wall at some point um, where I have all cross stitch and books. And cross stitch is all related to books or um, quotes. So this is my first time stitching with silk. It's also my first project that's over two. This is also a Be Stitch Me fabric. Um, can't think of the name right now. Yeah, it's 28 count. And that's what I have so far. Ooh, let's just do this. There we go. So the giant bat over on the side here is all done with... Um, Dinky dies, silks, and it's so, so pretty. And then I love the shade in the shadow up here across the top is done in a toile. And the rest is DMC. But this is so cool. I, yeah, this is so much fun. And it's so pretty. It was a little bit of a challenge for me at first. Um, Cause usually when I grab 28 count, I stitch over one. 
So stitching over two um, was a bit of an experiment, but I am really liking it. And I think this is a gorgeous pattern. All right, what's next? All right, next, <laughs> this is gonna be huge. <laughs> Linens and Threads 2017 Band Sampler. I started this a while ago and then put it aside. Um, not for any dislike of it, it was just, I kept starting everything, so this is what it's going to look like finished. Huge, 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 but gorgeous. And this is what I have so far. This is on 25 count over one, not another sampler from Be Stitch Me. And I am using DMC 69 Variegated which is, uh, I believe they call it terracotta is the name. And then I've got my little TARDIS sample, TARDIS needle minder. Yeah, there we go. Very pretty colors. And it seemed to fit perfectly on this fabric. That is one I really want to get some stitches into this year. I don't plan on finishing that one this year because it is quite large, but I do want to make a dent in it. Oh, this one. This was my unicorn chart. Um, in fact, rather than taking the magazine out because it is rather old, I'm going to put a picture right here. If you want to see a, a, um, beautiful progress on this and how it was done, um, Blitz Stitch on YouTube. Uh, he's a male floss tuber stitcher. He does beautiful, beautiful work. He has this amid Amish life, and I believe he's com um, nearing completion on it if he hasn't already. I'm a bit behind on my floss tubes right now, but it is gorgeous. So, yeah, I just have a tiny little start over. I started on the far left. So a little bit of the border and the clouds, and I'm stitching this on blue 18 count Ada. No, excuse me, 20 count. Ta -da. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be so pretty. Um, I'm being very gentle with the magazine. Um, I do have some working copies of the pattern itself. And but yeah, I'm trying to be very gentle with the magazine itself because it's the actual magazine pattern from 1989 and it's getting quite fragile. Let's see if I can do that without knocking over my camera. <laughs> we'll see. All right, what do we got next for you? This is a pattern I have had <clears throat> excuse me for years and years and years and years. Um I want to say, like, if she's got a date on here, but I'm thinking it's like the 19, early 1990s. But this is Carson Mansion by Nancy Spruance. I love the colors on this one. Um, is that right? Nope, that's the wrong picture. Shoot. On the fly, on the fly, on the fly. Um, it's got the wrong picture in here. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. We're going to try and figure this out. Oh, there it is. This is the one I'm looking for. <laughs> this is the right picture. Hello. <laughs> this is Carson Mansion by Nancy Spruance. Look at those blues. It is just gorgeous. It is extremely detailed. There's a lot of floss blending, a lot of back stitching, half stitching, quarter stitching, um, but well worth it for the detail that comes into this. 
And this is an actual photograph of her model stitch. Just, yeah. So, again, this is another one with a tiny little start. Just enough to bring it into this year. So I started in the middle. And that's all I've got so far. <laughs> but yeah. I'm looking forward to this one as well. Um, I There are a few patterns, um, whips, that I did not bring in this year. Um, to stitch in 2022. I just wasn't feeling them. But I've still got a boatload of things to stitch on. So I'm not worried <laughs> that I'm going to run out of things to stitch. It's not going to happen. Especially with my love of full coverage projects. Next one. It's another Kathy Berg. Yay. This one is Riley Harbor. And I wrinkled the pattern. I'm sorry. I love this with the whale and the primitive houses in here. It just, it's a gorgeous design. So I am where I am at that. This one's got a tiny start to it as well, but um, I think this one will go pretty quickly. This is on scroll from Be Stitch Me. It is 18 count, and that's where I'm at so far. So I've just got the first black house, got to start on the first black house in the upper left-hand corner. Good start on it, but just to start. Quite a bit more to do on this one. I would like to finish this this year. We'll see if it happens. Um, but I would love to finish that this year. Um, for the black, I am using Anchor Black instead of DMC. And I am using the, um, not the spools, but the uh, actual uh, skeins. <laughs> I can't believe I blocked a, blanked on the name. I am using the skeins of Anchor Black. Um, you can still through, get through most local needle workshops, um, one, two, three stitch, and not spools. I am finding there's a bit of a difference in the thickness between the spools and the skeins. Might be just my imagination, but it seems to me with the skeins I get better coverage. Where the um, spools, um, are much like DMC 310 and the skeins have just a little bit more thickness to them. I'm going to save this one for later. Okay. Next up is another Ink Circles. This is Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. <laughs> Love this. It's another good fall, autumn, Halloween stitch. And I won this fabric from Be Stitch Me, and this just seemed perfect. It is 16 Count Wicked from Be Stitch Me. And that's where I'm at on that one. I love this greens and the charcoals in here. This fabric is perfect for this design. And I am doing it all in DMC at 12C310, the black. With just a tiny, tiny bit of sparkle. Let's see if I have enough memory on my phone to do this whole video in one thing. We'll see. <laughs> it may be a two-parter. Oh, and I know a number of you have asked like how my cats did with the cross country trip. It was quite a challenge. Um, I did pick up a, a playpen car transporter thing for small dogs and cats. Um, took up most of the back seat in my um, little car. Um, but they got through it okay. They had some really bad fights. <laughs> It was like having a couple little kids in the back in the back seat. They were either yowling and yelling at me 
or they were squabbling, bickering, and just all out fighting. And it was like, I'm gonna turn this car around if you two don't knock it off. <laughs> but that's my two girls. They seem to be settling in well now. Um, Kiwi likes to sleep under the covers now, which she never did before, but you know, it's quite a bit colder here at the moment. Um, they do seem to be doing okay. So I appreciate the people that reached out and asked me how the girls did with the cross country drive. All right. This is one that I'm also following Amy loves toads on and she is doing the same pattern. Not much to see yet, but um, she does have the antlers now coming through her pattern. So it is Deer Creek. It's a Hade pattern. Um, and the designer is Donna Gelsinger. I just love this one. And it kind of makes me think of being in the woods in North Carolina. I am using Be Stitch Me through the stones. It is a full coverage project. But because there are so many greens in this, I thought that the kind of greenish gray undertones to this fabric through the stones was perfect for working on um, Deer Creek with. This is 28 count through the stones over one. And you can see the greens in there and there's some dark greens, black. There's several colors in here already, even though it doesn't look like it. I'm looking forward to when I get to the antlers, too, um, like Amy Loves Toad does. If you haven't watched her videos, definitely check her out. She's terrific. Now, this is a twofer bag. I'm also starting... Um, they have a thing with no new starts where you can tissue box and so it's basically you finish one in a series and can start the second one in a series as long as they fit together um, like prairie schooler Santas would be something you could tissue box I am tissue boxing baby bibs I have a co-worker that is expecting so I've started doing little baby bibs for her and this little this is just a start on one. That's going to be a little purple elephant in the middle. And then it's going to have a little green and yellow one too and some stars. And this is see it's a little over the head toddler baby bib. So cute. Um, and this one's by Charles Craft. Um, very, very soft. Um, it's almost a little difficult for me to stitch on. One, I'm stitching in hand, and two, it is so soft. The 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 stitches just uh, the weave on here separates really easily. So it's a little slower going than I thought, but it's still really beautiful. All right, this was a freebie that was offered from. Um, Twin Peaks Primitives, and I think it was only available for like 48 hours or three days or something along those lines, where you had to snag it fast. And it was Winter Tranquility. And it's this one right here. And I just fell in love with the house and the cardinal and the tree. It was so, so pretty. And plus you can't beat free. <laughs> So I've got a little start. Whoops, hello. Me. <laughs> so I've got to start on the trees. And I think it's such a beautiful design. And the fact that it was free, it's just even better. And it works in Pattern Keeper. Hello. <laughs> so absolute yes on this one. And in fact, it did have me. Um, once I got this one, I went and got another, purchased a pattern from Twin, we Twin Peak Primitive that'll hopefully be a start this year when I finish something that I'm already working on. All right, next one. This was also a freebie, and this one comes from Lindy Stitches as her holiday stitch. And that's what it looks like here. Isn't that beautiful? 
I, the horse and the cats and the sugar plums. So it's sugar plum dreams. And that's where I'm at with this one. Yay. So, so pretty. And I am using all the call for flosses on this one. And I have a backup fabric too because I almost ended up stitching on um, a be stitch me as well but if I decide to do it as a gift for somebody else I will also stitch on this one too from be stitch me with the sugar plum dreams so just a not quite as blue blue as what I'm using for my sugar plum dreams but definitely a good backup fabric <laughs> please okay next up I've got 10,000 lakes from Carolyn Manning um, started this as a birthday stitch on fun day with Lindsay um, that's what she selected as her birthday stitch was any Carolyn Manning design and so this is 10,000 lakes what it'll look like finished this is a full coverage piece and this is what I have stitched so far. It, he sends a theme with, I just love blues and greens. Those are probably blues, greens, and um, browns. And like forest and sky. My favorite colors. This is a fun stitch. Very detailed. Um... I didn't realize how much it'd be changing colors when I first started it. Then it's like five years, six years, <laughs> up, down, back stitch. <laughs> it's beautiful though. Great colors. And I am doing that on 28 count um, Lugana even weave and using the easy grid for that because I actually happen to have some. <laughs> Next up, Long Dog. This is what it looks like when it's done. This is the new normal by Long Dog. This one I've been struggling with a bit, be not because I don't like it. I actually think I like the new normal a little bit better than pandemic, but I have been unable to get the new normal into Pattern Keeper. Um, whereas pandemic went right in and every other Long Dog that I have has gone right into um, Pattern Keeper. If you happen to know anything about um, struggles with the new normal in Pattern Keeper, give me a shout out below in the comments. I would love to hear if you've, uh, if you're stitching on the new normal and if you're able to get it into Pattern Keeper. But so just a tiny start on this, but I love the little elephant. I am doing this in uh, Dark Brown 3371 from DMC and sulky variegated forest floor so um which is actually the same two colors that i'm using to stitch pandemic with the little elephant is so cute <laughs> <laughs> but i do struggle with working on this one because i it it's so much to it and i wasn't able to get it in pattern paper I will get back to this this that this year but I do have a tendency to like push that one aside because of the pattern keeper issue with it okay and another long dog this is actually teeny tiny by long dog standards <laughs> this is Santa quill I love this one. I um, uh, two of the ladies in the Fun Day Stitchers got a head start on me on this one, um, and they told me about this pattern, and I just adored it. So this I'm also doing on uh, Be Stitch Me. This is Stonehenge, and it's eighteen count. And that's where I am with that. 
So I am doing um, the Raven is going to be in um, Fathom by Weeks Dye Works. And then the black and white. I love his little hat and the snowflake. This is quite fun to work on. Went right into Pattern Keeper. Absolutely love it. And um, like I said, it's I think it's the smallest long dog out there. But so much fun to stitch on. <laughs> now, I couldn't help myself. When I went on there to get Santa Quill, I hadn't been on the long dog site in a while, they had a new one out um, besides this one, and it had an Egyptian theme. <sighs> Here we go. Isn't that beautiful? So another tiny start, but I had to have this one. When I saw it, I was just addicted. And this is a late in the year start, and guess what? I had another giant piece of potato Lugana. And again, I didn't cut it. <laughs> That's one of my goals this year is going to be getting more organized because just ridiculous this past year. Um, I really got out of control with my stitching. So that's one of the goals this year. I've already started like doing spreadsheets, um, and keeping track of things and, uh, inventory. Um, thank goodness for Carla craft addict K. I will also link her channel below and I highly recommend it. If you need any help with organizing or changing things around, um, just getting things straightened out, doing spreadsheets, using a happy planner, organizing your floss, your fabric. She has got some fantastic ideas. Um, do check out her channel. All right, so just a little start on this. Um, starting upper left, and I am using a DMC variegated. It's so pretty. One of my favorite classes in school was on Egyptian history. So when I saw that one, I just had to have it. And boy, am I making a mess. I'm glad I'm keeping everything in zippered bags here. Okay. This is another Halloween themed one. This is funny because prior to like 2019, I didn't do any seasonal stitching. Um, maybe an occasional Christmas ornament, but never did like fall, Halloween, spring, nothing like that. And now I have several pieces that I'm doing. <laughs> this is Waxing Moon Designs Midnight Manor. I'm doing the one on the bottom. And I'm using a 28 count. And I'm also using a Fathom on this one. Weeks Dye Works Fathom. And so it's all monochromatic. I'm going to move my TARDIS needle minder here. But that's where I am with this one. Got the bat, the cat, there's an owl, the moon, the ghosties. This mansion is wonderful. It is going to be a lot of fun to stitch. A lot of fun to finish. And this year, I am going for a finish on this one this year. Absolutely. No excuses. <laughs> so I want to have this finished up by the fall. Hello, Chloe. How are you, pretty girl? All right, next one. And here we go with another seasonal one. This is the Christmas house from Galliana Cross Stitch. I am using all um, anchor candy apple variegated and the number on this is 01206 you see it goes from extremely bright red to a very dark burgundy and it is beautiful to stitch with the coverage on this is fantastic <clears throat> excuse me i'm doing this on 28 count lugana over one 
and this is where I'm at. I did do some trimming of the thread so I could make the fireplace itself look darker and brighter reds for the fire. Yeah, this is a fun stitch. Um, very enjoyable. Also works in Pattern Keeper. I believe all of her designs uh, work in Pattern Keeper and she is on Etsy. So I have one other by, by her that I'm also working on uh, that I will hopefully get to eventually. <laughs> That's a baby bed pattern. This one hasn't come out in a long time. <clears throat> and it really needs to because it is fun to stitch on. I love the fabric and absolutely love the movie that this is based on. I'm going to see if I have the cover picture in here. doesn't look like I do. One second. Let me just double check. Nope, I don't. So I'm going to put it up here. This is a quote from the movie Practical Magic. And this is from M. Kissa Creations. She is also on Etsy. I'm doing this on 28 count Lugana over one that I dyed myself. Like I said, this has not come out in a long time and it needs to because it is fun to stitch. Yeah, looks like at the bottom of this pattern, you'll see all the witches come out. We have all the witches lined up, and that should be where all this purple is, and I think that's going to look fantastic. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs> this one wants to come back out. I know it does. I can feel it. <laughs> he wants to come back out to play. And next one is All in Selkie Threads. And this one came with a Selkie Thread Pack. I'll show you the colors on this because they are great. Different shades of Selkie Threads. Look at that. Aren't they pretty colors? And this is Homewards by Rosewood Manor. So here's what it's going to look like. And, oop, get back in the bag. Come on. Not my bag. <laughs> I am doing this on 28 count, 20 count, excuse me, opalescent Ada. And that's where I'm at so far. Those little medallions are there are no joke. It's like two stitches, color change, two stitches, color change. <laughs> but at least the letters are all solid blocks of color. And this is fun to work on. It's another one that I want to come back out this year. Um, I'm definitely spoiled by Pattern Keeper, but I don't mind the paper pattern on this one. It's large enough for me to see. I have a couple paper patterns that are really hard for me to see. <laughs> My eyes ain't getting any younger. That one stays away. Ah. This one is um, also one that's slated for my literary wall, if that ever happens. <laughs> It's by the Primitive Hair and it's Jane Eyre. And I love the verse on here about uh, that she is no little bird. This is also on Be Stitch Me. It is Badlands, uh, 28 count Ada, 28 count even weave, excuse me. Goodness. And that's what I have so far. Yay. <laughs>
this is also very enjoyable to stitch and you know i can kick myself over and over again about doing new start therapy uh especially this past year but it's okay it helped me and this year 2022 is my focus on getting things done uh, i love this one i first saw this from stitches by shelby on her floss tube channel and fell in love with it and i had bought it a while ago but i never started it so i made sure i got the 200 stitches in and got this started before um january first hit it is quaker snowflakes by hello from liz matthews i am doing the blue fabric version and this is another bag from patchwork crossing fits this one perfectly <laughs> and that's where I'm at for right now in fact it's got a few stitches last night and it's going to be out most of this weekend isn't that fabric gorgeous and then it's the 38 I always mess up this color number it's the winter white DMC not the B5200 I have a lot of those. Yeah. 3865. Wasn't sure that's a number, but that's the winter white. And oh, just really gorgeous on this fabric. This one's going to be a stunner. There are only three colors in this pattern. And yeah, beautiful. And I'm doing this on 20 count Ada. And it's an unnamed uh, fabric from Be Stitch Me. So that's going to get more work this weekend. Yay. <laughs> uh, there's a few pieces that are going to get some attention this weekend. Uh, next up is a tiny start, but it's actually a restart. I had a good bit more done and had made a major mistake in it and ended up where I just decided to restart it. Um, this is an older pattern. It's definitely seen better days. It's still got a Walmart sticker on it for $3.58. <laughs> it is Paula Vaughn. And it is Summer Breeze. I fell in love with the house, the quilt, the flowers. Um, yeah, just gorgeous. And with the mistake that I made, there were so many stitches that I had to take out that I was just like, oh, it's going to take me twice as long to frog everything as it would if I just restarted it. So that's exactly what I did is I just got a tiny little start on it on the house. And that's, yeah, that's it so far. But yay, I'm glad it's back out again. Um. I had put it away for a long time because I knew there was so much frogging I had to do on it. And I just like, oh, put it off, put it off, put it off. <laughs> so I'm so glad that I restarted it and it's in for my new year. That one's not, didn't come across. This one did. This is from Heartstring Samplery, and it's called We Are the Same. Um, do, 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 which was, um, yeah, We Are the Same. I am doing the beige version. It's got all wrinkled. I'm sorry. Yeah, We Are the Same um, by Heartstring Samplery. And this just has a tiny start on it. It's actually not a very big piece. It looks bigger in the pattern, but yeah, that's where I'm at so far on that. Is we are, and I've 
kind of put this one off because I've been debating about changing the color of the words because I'm not sure that they show up enough. Um, but we'll see. It's definitely got the start on it and it's going to get some more work on it. I just need to think on if I want to change um, the floss color a little bit for the words. Now, earlier I talked about tissue boxing. This is also one that I am tissue boxing, and it is, as I mentioned before, Prairie Schooler Santas. Now, I've already finished um, one of them, and I started on the second one. And this is Peace on Earth is what I started on, which is a 2019 Santa. And I have several of the Prairie Schooler Santas um, that I can teach you box. So this is on 18 count. Uh, this is where I'm at so far. The, the piece and a little bit of his head. And I am tissue boxing it because I also have, let me show you here, a couple of the other ones that I have. Um, this is the 2020 North Wind. And this is 2006. So it's the sewing Santa. And I really like him and the old school sewing machine. And then... <laughs> I also have not one of the original card ones, but I have uh, Prairie Schooler Santa's Revisited. And this has 1999, 2000, and 2015 Santa's on them. And this is the one that I've already completed, but I haven't fully finished yet. But he's all done. So I have the other two to do on here as well. Get back in the bag. All right, next. This one comes from um, the Be Well and Stitch series that was on Instagram, where a lot of the designers did uh, freebie small designs for all of us stitchers um, during the pandemic um, when it first hit. And it was just wonderful, all the designs that they came up with. There were so many beautiful things. This one is uh, from Erica Michaels, and it's Have a Heart. It's a quote from Charles Dickens. You can see right there. And it's Have a Heart That Never Hardens, A Temper That Never ti Tires, bleh, bleh, A Touch That Never Hurts. I just thought this was beautiful, and um, I love the font that she used on it. It's very pretty. I'm doing this on uh, 18 count fiddlers, Ada, and that's what we've got so far. Like I said, I love the font on here. Just gorgeous. This is one that I'm definitely going for a finish for this year. And then I can um, claim something else to start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not expecting that I'm going to finish any of my full coverage projects, but I do hope um, that I make a good dent in them. And let's see, that one didn't come forward to 2022. Okay, this one did. This is another magazine piece. Let's see if I've got it. It's from the love, For the Love of Cross Stitch, March 1996. It's another old one, but I love this one because I love pansies. It is called Pansy Prom. And let's see, yeah. Old issue, but still so pretty. I'm doing this on 18 count as well. And so I just got a little start on the first flower. <laughs> this one's so fun to do, and I love pansies. I'm actually hoping now that I've got a little bit of a backyard um, that I can do some flower and herb growing uh, come spring. I 
very excited about. It's a little tiny backyard, but I got a backyard, which is nice. <laughs> okay, next one is a Christmas piece. And this is Quaker Christmas 2 by Bygone Stitches. Now, the cover photo on this does not do it justice at all. But it is a beautiful stitch. Um, I've seen this as a model in person. And, yeah, gorgeous. Um, the proper stitcher. And um, uh, the proper stitcher is, Annie, is doing um, a stitch along with us. And the idea was to finish it by this Christmas or by next Christmas. And I mean me for next Christmas. <laughs> I am doing this on 20 count oat, uh, oatmeal rustico, Ada. I always forget that name. But I am using the DMC 115 and then uh, dark green, ev dark evergreen DMC. Just beautiful, but I'm a sucker for Quakers. That is gorgeous. It is fun to stitch on, too. So, so pretty. I don't know if I'm aiming for a finish on that for this year, but we'll see where I can get. As you can see, I have got plenty to work on. No problem. <laughs> Next one. This is from Lila's Studio. Um, 2020 Nevermore Sal and Stitch Halloween 13 or some of the hashtags you'll find around this one. And yeah, Nevermore. Just stunning. Also uh, slated for my literary wall. <laughs> I'm using the call for threads on this and I am stitching it on 28 count over one on fabric dyed by me. And I meant to go, I've got kind of a grungy look to this, which I really like on the fabric. It just kind of brings this out and makes the colors pop, I think. But yeah, that's where I am on that so far. Um, this medallion is so gorgeous. Um, but it was no joke to stitch, that's for sure. You really had to pay attention to what you're doing. Fortunately, it does work in Pattern Keeper, which is great. <laughs> All right, next up. Yes, we are getting down in the pile. <laughs> I think. Next one is a Hade, and it is um, Spirit of the Dragonfly by Car Carol Cavallaris. Um, unfortunately she passed away, um, I want to say like a year, year and a half ago. So, but her designs are still available on Hade. Um, yeah, she had some really beautiful kind of spiritual patterns and other things. And so this one just has a tiny start on it. I don't know if you can see the colors are gorgeous. So mini spirit of the dragonfly beautiful colors and it's hard to see all the white stitches that I have in here but you can see them a little bit I think this one's a fun one and pattern keeper which is great and yeah a fun stitch all right next one I'm still going, folks, and if you're still here, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It means a lot to me when you come watch my videos, and especially when you comment below, and we get to have some interactions on here or on Instagram. Oh, and I've renamed my Instagram channel. Uh, Instagram page is also now the Steadfast Stitcher. So this is from Jordan Privé. I started this as a sal with um, Animal Instincts um, for her birthday. So it's Jardin Privé and it's Cat Lovers Quaker. This is a fun one. 
so so pretty the <laughs> little, little black cats just kind of dancing around the Quakers and having a blast I am doing this on 18 count oat is a color or I should say is a fabric and I am using all the called for flosses on this one as well And that's where I'm at with that. I got some of the pretty flowers on there. Really nice colors. I'm enjoying this one. And this one has not come out for a while. So I am anxious to have this one back out and get some stitching done on it. Um, for my Whipco this year, I did do the Whipco board. But I set it up as categories rather than individual pieces. And I think that's going to work a lot better for me this year. So I have like a stitch on a Quaker, stitch on full coverage, um, work on a long dog, stitch on something with cats, stitch on something with a house. <coughs> Give me so all different categories, um, which will still allow me some choices each individual month. So if it's stitch on a long dog, I've got multiple long dogs I can stitch on. If it's stitch on a cat, I've got a number of patterns that have cats on them. So I think that'll work out well. I'm try putting that down here so I don't accidentally knock over my phone. Okay. We are getting down there finally. Okay, that one didn't come through. This one. Yes, this one did. This is from um, Caroline from Off the Grid Needle Arts. Started this as a salve. And it is the Virland salve from History Stickmuster. And I know I'm pronouncing that wrong and I apologize. But here's what it'll look like. And I am doing this all in Sulky Merlot, which is a blendable. And I am doing it on 28 count Pearl Jobelin over one. I just love the colors of this Sulky Merlot. It's so, so pretty. Look at that. So I do have a good bit more to go on this, but it goes pretty fast and I'm enjoying it a lot. So we'll see. I think I can get at least a really good chunk of this done this year. My main problem with this one right now is that I might have to order the Sulky Blendable Merlot again. Um, unless it turns up, I've unpacked most of my stitching and for some reason it wasn't in the bag. The thread wasn't in the bag and I'm not sure where it is. So unless it just turns up oddly, um, cause I have had a few things that have turned up in strange boxes <laughs> that I couldn't figure out why they got there, but they did. That one didn't come across. That one is actually gone to, um, it's a UFO. <laughs> Unfinished object. It's probably never going to get finished. I had started a sal and um, I just, as, as it was kind of one where the pattern revealed itself um, in pieces and I just didn't get into it. Just didn't float my boat. Now this one is one that really floated my boat, um, but it took a few tries to find out what I really liked for colors. And then um, one of my friends helped me because um, on fun day helped me because I could not get it in Pattern Keeper. And I wanted to do it in Pattern Keeper even though the pattern comes out in pieces once a month. Um, That is the wrong one. <laughs> All right, I need to find that one now because now I've brought it up. Oh my goodness, what a dodo head. So 
So I was starting to talk about the modern folk embroidery, Sal, and that's not what was in this bag. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> this one is actually a long dog. Another long dog. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's a, kind of the same color palette. And yeah, I looked at it and automatically thought it was a modern folk embroidery. It's not. This is long dog Quinto Acuto, the pointed fifth. This one's going to have a few more colors in it than the modern folk sal, but... <laughs> That's where I am on this one. Quinto Acuto. And I've never had this happen before. But look at this. This is a salvage. And it is peeling off of this fabric. And it's making me a little nervous. I've never seen it do that before. So, and you can see it's just a salvage end on it. And it's peeling off from the fabric. Isn't that weird? Have you ever had that happen before? But anyways, yeah. This is Quinto Acuto from Long Dog, the Pointed Fifth, not Modern Folk. <laughs> but look at that dog. I love the colors that I, I picked for this. And like I said, they're very similar to the ones that I'm using in Modern Folk, only I'm using a couple more colors in this one than I will be using in Modern Folk. So I've got the little brown bunny up here and then the two different shades of blue um, and there will be a little bit of green in here as well. So again, all my favorite colors, blue, brown, green. Yay! Long dog samplers, Quinto Acuto, the pointed fit. <laughs> oh, I must be getting clenchy, but thank you for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. And I apologize for messing up what was in the bag. Even I didn't know. <laughs> so, this one is another Hade. This is on 28 count, easy grid. Uh, it is Tree of Life by Ciro Machete. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I love the colors in this one. It is a stunner. This is where I'm at on it so far. And it is fun to do. It is fun to work on. And there's a lot of color changes in it. But again, it, not put aside because I don't like working on it. It's put aside because I just have way too much to choose from. And hopefully 2022, um, we'll see a little bit of dwindling to my number of whips. Um, but I've seen a couple other whip parades where they have more whips than me, so I don't feel quite as guilty. <laughs> but it's still like, holy cow, how did you do this? And what have you done? All right, this is a beautiful one. This is from Autumn Lane Stitchery, and I love their witches. This is what it'll look like finished. It is the Lunar Witch. And this is what I have on her so far. She is, and I don't know if you can see the gold stitches going down the center of her body. Or where her body will be. And she's holding a dragon. A little baby dragon. Yeah, this is gorgeous. And it is in, very enjoyable to stitch on. I'm just loving it. Excuse me. I haven't talked this much in months. <laughs> well, that's that one. Oh, this is another patchwork crossing bag. Is that perfect for the Lunar Witch or what? And it's big and sturdy. I love it. And just, yeah, the blues and blacks are gorgeous. Next up is a planned finish for this year, and it is going to be a gift, I think. I'm pretty sure for Christmas. 
and this is the Nantucket House Trio. It's by um, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World is a designer, and her design um, shop is named Hemlock and Rye Stitch Hemlock and Rye Stitchery. So yeah, oop. <laughs> I've got a little Christmas tree I've done in a, a Christmas wreath I've done in a twall. There's a big Christmas wreath that'll go right here. Christmas. Christmas tree. <laughs> I am out of practice with floss tube. I promise I'll get better. Um, <laughs> so the Christmas tree is right here. That's done in the twall. The Christmas wreath on the red door here is also done in the twall. And then the border. Is going to be um, all in a 12. The houses are just beautiful and they are very fun to stitch on. I really like it. In fact, I've um, gotten a couple others of her designs that I'm looking forward to working on once I finish this one. Um, Williamsburg House Trio, I'm really looking forward to. Um, Samhain, uh, the Halloween one, House Trio, also beautiful. <laughs> Uh, one of the houses reminds me of uh, when I lived in Connecticut and just it's gorgeous <laughs> so much fun okay next one I'm actually almost down to the end here this is awesome okay so this is mini warm at home this is another hate um, it's my smallest hate uh, Irina Garishimova. I'm going to say that wrong. Um, but I just love it. it's um, the black and white and the grays of that beautiful kitty sitting in a window. And it reminds me of Chloe sitting in the window seat and just enjoying looking out the window and starry nights. So that's where I'm at with that. I've actually just right up in here I'm at the top edge of the cat because she really takes up almost the whole picture. So there's not a ton of border in this, which is great. So I love that I'm just picking, starting to pick up some of the grays of the cat. I think this one will go very quickly. Um, there's less than 20 colors in here and um, not a lot of confetti stitches, so it goes very fast. Okay. This next one is from Little House Needleworks. This one I'm also planning as a gift. Um, and it is Home of a Needleworker 2. Oopsie, come here. I wonder if I should hide my needle minder. <laughs> no, I'm not going to hide it. I like my needle minder. It's got a bad word on it. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with the house so far. So I've got quite a lot done on this one. Um, all the solid stitching in here. And it is um, 18 count Ada. And I'm using the called four colors. Very enjoyable stitch as well. And um, I'm giving this to another stitcher. Not necessarily a cross stitcher, but another stitcher. <laughs> okay. This one is also from Little House Needleworks. And um, I saw Julie, Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World, stitching on this. And I really, really liked it. I am keeping all the names the same. I'm not changing them. Um, I know she changed one name on hers. But I'm just going to go with the design. <laughs> I'm not as imaginative as she is. But it's The Bookshelf by Little House Needleworks. And it's got all female authors listed on here. And some of the books that they wrote, like Sense and Sensibility, The Secret Garden, Little Women, which 
has long been one of my favorite books. And I just have a little start on the books right here. Very, yeah, this is going to be fun to stitch on. Um, on the pattern, it didn't actually call for, let's see if I can't really show you, but I decided to change the only change that I'm making here is I decided instead of a flat gold for the books, it might help if you hold it right side up, I used an etoile in here to give it just a little bit of glimmer on the books, on the book binding and the spines. So other than that, I'm using all the call for colors on that one, except for the uh the spines of the books. Okay, this one is from Modern Folk Embroidery, but it's not the 2021 style. <laughs> this is real comfort. And that's this pattern here. And it's a Jane Austen quote. Uh, there is nothing like staying at home for real comfort. Well, we've certainly done a lot of that over the last two years, haven't we? Now, I am using DMC 115, uh, the red variegated, and then black, anchor black. And that's where I am with this one. So this one could definitely be a finish this year. We shall see. But I really like stitching on it. Okay, that's that one. And let's see. This is um my second pattern that I have from Bygone Stitches. And this is Quaker Virtues. Again, this is another one where the cover photo does not do it justice, but I saw the model in the attic in Mesa, Arizona, and I just fell in love with it and had to have it. <laughs> yeah, so this is Quaker Virtues by Bygone Stitches. Um, this is also on 25 count Potato Lugana. And I am using, um, Heathered is the name of the color from DMC. Um, if you can see the greens and the purples in this, it's it's lovely. It really is. And it is DMC 4505. Again, can you tell I like stitching on Potato Lugana 25 count? That seems to really be my jam. And that's where I am with this one. I'm not holding that right side up again. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can see all the colors in here are just, it's so pretty. The greens and the purples are just lovely. And then I used one of the solid purples that's in 4505 to circle for this motif. And I'm going to be doing that periodically. I have this one purple and one of the greens um, that's in the 4505 variegated. And I'll be using those periodically in the pattern just to break things up. And next up, this is my pandemic. I was just amazed. Lindsay, who's on Fun Day Stitchers, she's X Stitch and Crochet on uh, Instagram, uh, finished up her pandemic and it looks amazing. She just did such a fantastic job with it. And I'm really wanting to get back to mine. And I think I will this year. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it this year, but I'm going to give it a go. So this is a, my, I'm using this as a companion piece to the new normal. Um, I'm using the same color palette, which is the DMC 3371. And 
fourth floor from Sulky, which is a variegated. And yeah, I love the colors in this one. And actually, it's showing up a little bit brighter. But fairly accurate. Really pretty. And this is here where I'm at with this one. And yes, I'm holding it right side up. <laughs> So I'm mixing up the variegated and the 3371 together. Um, the rats for pandemic are definitely going to stay the dark brown color. And these motifs are gorgeous on here. There is so much to this pattern. Um, very enjoyable to stitch. And thankfully it works in Pattern Keeper just fine. So it's got a good shot of getting some real progress in it this year. I'm not going to say finish, but it's got a definite shot. Okay, so we are down to the last couple ones here. Oh my goodness. So, next one is from Heartstring Sampler, Samplery, and it is Coffee Drinker's Confession. Um, I believe Tess Stitches is also working on this one. Um, I started her whip parade last night and I've got to finish it, but oh my goodness, the modern folk she's doing from 2020, gorgeous um, with the seasons. It's just beautiful. So yeah, this is Coffee Drinker's Confession by Heartstring Samplery. I'm using the Call for Colors. And this is where I'm at. So this will definitely be a finish this year, I think. Definitely, I think. And that doesn't work together, does it? Definitely, I think. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be working on it this year. Let's put it that way. Yeah, this is a fun stitch. And I love the little coffee bean border on here. It's really adorable. I don't have a problem with coffee. I have a problem without coffee. Very much me. <laughs> here and this is my pride and joy and what I'm finishing off my whip parade with it is pilgrim by long dog samplers and I so love working on this <laughs> Um, works fine in Pattern Keeper. I am using uh, DMC 4245. Um, the name of it is Mystical Midnight. And then I'm popping in um, a couple other colors on this. Um, Anchor Black and a little bit of a Toile. Uh, just to give it a little bit um, more pop. So this is what Pilgrim will look like completed. Beautiful pattern. Huge. Beautiful though. And this is where I'm at. Ah. <laughs> I have to come back here. There we go. You see everything. There is so much to this pattern going on. And the village is very fun to stitch. I've gotten some of the back stitching in. I'm going to wait on a good bit of the back stitching just because the Q snap tends to mess up back stitching. Um, so I am going to get probably as I finish this section and it's completely out of the Q snap and won't get wrecked, I'll go back in and do some of the back stitching as I go. But yeah, huge, huge, huge piece. I think that that might look great on this wall right back here. What do you think? <laughs> I think that'll look great. So guess what? We are almost... No, we are at the end. We have finished up for today. Um, thank you for joining me for my whip movie. I am going to try to get back here either weekly or bi-weekly. And get back on on a regular basis. I know it's been three months since I've done this. I really appreciate you joining me. Thank you for sticking through this whip, go, uh, whip Parade movie. And I appreciate all of you. And have a 
beautiful, beautiful weekend. And I hope your start to 2022 is going wonderfully. And you have a healthy, safe, and happy new year. Thank you. I'm the Steadfast Stitcher. And I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.